people have a hard time drawing or they want to paint but they say, oh, I can't draw and, but you really don't need to be able to draw to do a painting. Painting is actually drawing with color. So I've come up with a method that will help you um, paint from a photograph if you break down the photograph into some simple shapes. And there's many ways to go about doing this, but I'm going to illustrate a simple way that I hope will work for you when you have a photograph that you love that you can try doing this yourself at home, okay? So here I have a picture that I took while I, while I was in a beautiful Provence. And I did a couple things. One is I printed it out in full, you know, uh, just the way you printed out the way you the way it was photographed and then I took I did a little bit of a manipulation on the photo in Photoshop you don't have to do this but sometimes I do this because it eliminates the details and all of a sudden all that's left are these shapes so sometimes I start with this so here we have a piece of acetate and I'm going to draw the shapes in and of course, the shapes don't have to be perfect, but here's a rough idea and shape of this foreground tree and shrub area. Actually, let's include this down here. So here is the, here is the shape of the two buildings, and I'm not going to do them separately. I'm going to put them together. Here is the shape of the built of the shrub, the big kind of shrub tree in the background. And right now this photograph has been blurred a little bit, so we're not exactly sure what all those things are. And then we have, I'm just going to put a line here because we do have a building in the foreground. We don't really need that line there. I am not going to do, none of these are going to be included as shapes, they're just details. We keep the details for last. Details are like decorating. It's just the little last finishing touches. And if you want to change your lines, all you have to do is take a piece of paper towel and just wipe the china marker off. So that's pretty easy, such as down here. So I've basically picked areas that look, that have the same color value. So this is all dark. Now, when you take this away, and I'll put this on the back, these are your shapes. And that's what I'm going to start my drawing from. OK? So we haven't, we haven't sat there and done a really uh, detailed and complicated drawing. We've just established some really simple shapes.